Amen. We truly praise God for him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Truly. Amen. He's I consider him our apostolic father of this church. Amen. 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 We praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a term that's going around these days, but we have our own apostolic father. Yes, we do. Amen. Amen. He's, he's been, Thank you, Jesus. He's been saved. He's been saved about 56, 57 years. Amen. He's been passing about 45. Amen. Total. Amen. So, so, so he's our he's our apostolic father. We thank yes, God for him. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's turn to our Bible, to the Book of Acts, very familiar passage of Scripture, Acts chapter nine, verses one through five. Acts chapter 9, verses 1 through 5. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 9, yes. Verses 1 through 5. And, and Saul, yet reading out, threatening and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest, and desired of him letters to Damascus to the synagogues, that if any if, if that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And he journeyed, and as he journeyed he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined around about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? And he said, and he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the prince. O oh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for all you've done. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord God, for your tender mercies. Oh God, bless this word, Lord God. Bless your people, Lord God. Oh God, bless, oh God, don't fall on deaf ears, Lord Jesus. Oh God, bless, oh God, give me clarity of speech, clarity of thought, Lord God. Tell me you've been a ready writer. And we bless and praise the name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'd like to come to you with a subject this morning and an encounter with Jesus. An encounter with Jesus. You find that you talk about an encounter, an encounter in an unexpected or casual meeting with someone or something. So we find that Saul of Tarsus was arch persecutor of the church and his father was soon become he was soon become called the great apostle of the Gentile world. From this point on to the book of Acts, he in fact throughout the whole New Testament he became the dominant servant of the Lord. From all indications only the Lord himself superseded the dedication of this man. A man who had been forgiven so much that he even so much, he even slaughtered great numbers of people, of the people of God. Saul was consumed with fierce anger and wrath against Christ and his disciples. He breathed out uh, threatenings against uh, against the people of God, and you find out that he he he, he um, of course he he, he was he wanted to destroy the destroy the saints of God. But you find that Amen. He 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 put the slaughter. Even the Bible says in Acts 8 and, 8 and 3 said, For Saul made habit of the church entering into every house and helping men and women, committing them to prison. But but Saul but Saul was given over to a fierce object of destroying the followers of Christ. He volunteered, he went and volunteered and went to the high priest of the Sanhedrin and requested authority to storm through fleeing believers to arrest to arrest and bring them back to Jerusalem for trial. You find that if, if, if you look at that, that was over 150 miles that he went going to find find the saints of God, mm -hmm. amen, that were fleeing, amen, and and, 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 and to arrest them. Mm -hmm. And and he, he was you know he was not just arresting men, he was, he was just men and women. Mm -hmm. he, he, he was mm -hmm. one and destroying but you find that you know that, that, that God God hell always finds a way for his people. Yeah, yeah. You find he always finds a way for his people Early believers, yes, uh, early, early, early believers in the church, they, they find that they were they, they were followers of they called of the way, and, and this is a title. If you look at the scriptures, the title in Acts sixteen and seventeen, it talks about, about the way of salvation. In Acts eighteen twenty five, it's about the way of the Lord. Luke one and seventy nine is the way of peace. In Second Peter two and two, the way of way of truth. 
and Second Peter two and twenty one, the way of righteousness. So, 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 so we were called in the way, Amen. We, 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 we were trying to, you know, follow, Amen, the way of the Lord. We find it here, Amen, that that y'all get this very familiar passage of scripture that the, the light shined about him, and, and, and the Bible said, Amen. He was stricken down in, in, the, in the midst, in the midst. He, he was almost there where, where he's supposed to be, but he, but he, but he was stricken down with, with a light from heaven, yeah. and, the, and, the, and the Bible says, Amen. He heard a voice. But the other ones that were with him didn't hear a voice. They heard a sound, but they, they, they didn't hear a voice. Uh -huh. they, they couldn't distinguish because that was a personal message. Yes. Right. That was a personal message to, to Saul. And he was, he, he, Paul was alone. He missed Paul alone. There was, a, there was a charge of terrible sin, opposing and persecuting the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ himself was calling him. And he, said, and, and he called him twice. He said, Saul, Saul. And 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 to find out that talking twice, it it, it 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 showed two things. One, it told, it showed him that that he, he, he was loving, tender, and concerned, and it was appeal for him to heed. Second, it showed a warning. Saul was Saul was treading on dangerous ground. He was close to to the brink of about to fall off the edge. Opposing Christ was was serious to doom that that to tune him to hell. So, he, so see, he, he he was he was he was on his way to hell because he he, yes. he was opposing God's people. But God had a plan for him. Yeah. Amen. Right. So so when when God saved us, He has a plan for us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. True to it. So so God had a plan for him. So he, he he. But Paul saw that he was choosing a way of hard life. Every man who rebels against God chooses a hard life, a difficult life, a yeah. life that is doomed for uncertainty and wondering about the future, never possessing the assurance or confidence of being accepted by God, right. never being sure of really if we've been right, never really being permanent, having, having peace with God. So we find that, 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 that he, 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 was, he was on his way to hell. We find that God, but God, God blessed him, and, 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 and God spoke to him and told him he was, it was hard for him to kick your country picks. Yeah. He was letting him know it's time for him to get right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It was, it, it's just like us. Amen. He, time, he had an encounter with God. Uh -huh. Amen. It, 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 it was just, I mean, even though other people were present, mm -hmm. amen, he, it, 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 was a, it was a personal uh, encounter with God. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. find that we need to have our encounter with God. Yeah. Amen. It, to, 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 because, I mean, we need to get along with God because mm -hmm. and God let us, that God, and let God teach us and let God yes. keep us and, 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 and protect us. Yes. We, we need to have our encounter with God. Oh, and, you find, and, you, and you find the story, if you keep on reading the story, you find that, 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 that he, he, was, he was blind. Mm -hmm. Amen. God, God told him there was some sex, there was some facts. And he had a traumatic experience that he closed his eyes and he was blind. Amen. He was blind for three days. He was helpless and he, 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 and he had. He had to completely lean on other people. Mm -hmm. That's that what God will do for you. He, 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 we also self-sufficient, want to do everything for ourselves. Uh -huh. We find that, but, 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 but God will put you in a place that you're going to need somebody. Oh, yes. We find that, so we find that he, he, he was blind for three days, and mm -hmm. and, but, and, 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 and and this time, he, and he then he started praying. Huh. Amen, amen, amen. So God put you in, in, in a position yes. where you got to pray. Oh, amen. Yes. He put you in a position that, 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 that you have no choice but to pray. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. Paul, 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 if, you, if you understand who, who Saul was, he, he he was an educated man, you know. Yeah. He, he he was one full of of, of, of influence, mm -hmm. you know. But 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 he he had to pray. Did, did he learn? Did he, he had to learn and know beyond question who was complaining. That Lord had confronted him. So for three days, you know, he he, he God gave him three days to think about that thing. Yeah. Yeah. He gave him three days to think about it, and he, he wanted he wanted what, what he, to wonder what what changes would make his life. He had to he had switch his pattern of thinking, his purpose of life. And, and 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 he and 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 and, and what, what he wanted and what God wanted to do. Mm -hmm. They find that he had three days to think about that. Mm -hmm. Then he was wondering when, why, why God chose him. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and he was wondering, wondering what God, what, why God had chosen him. They find that, you know, Paul, after three, three days, Paul had told him, he, Paul, he, he said, I want you to go down, amen. And, 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 and you're going to meet somebody and they're going to tell you what to do. Yeah. So, you, so you find that, amen. So you need to have your encounter with God. Whoa, yes, yes, amen. Yes. No 
matter, no matter what happens, you need, amen, you need to have your encounter with God. Yes. No matter what happens, amen, God has a plan for you. Yes. Amen. God, God, the Bible says he's not one for anybody to perish, yes. but all everybody have everlasting life. Yes. If you have, if you, if you don't have it, if you, if you have not been baptized in Jesus' name, you need the Holy Ghost. Whoa. You need baptism in Jesus' name. If you had no fear of the Holy Ghost, it was never to speak in tongues. You need it. Yes. Amen. You need to have that encounter with God. Yes. Amen. Because that, that's the only way to salvation. Yes. Amen. If you read scriptures, amen, scripture tell you you need to be baptized. Yes. Amen. Jesus told you to be baptized. In Mark 16, 16, he said, he, yes. he told him yes. we need to be baptized. He said, he didn't believe in being baptized, shall be saved. So yes. Jesus told us, amen, that there's an importance of baptism. Yes. Amen. Jesus himself told baptism. And then, you know, he, 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 told, he told you, you, amen, how to, be, how to be baptized. Amen. But he Y'all know the story, you know, how he said be baptized in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But, you know, but, but, but you find that, that, that Peter, amen, he broke it down for us. He, uh -huh. he let us know. He said, me and the brother, what shall we do is that repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. For the mission of your sin, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You find that Peter broke it down for us, uh -huh. amen. You find that you need the Holy Ghost. You need, you need your encounter. You need the special encounter with God. Yeah. I'll tell you, and sometimes, you know, you can be saved. You still need an encounter with God. Oh. You, need, you still need to go back to the altar. You still need to pray. You still need to fast. Yeah. You need to have an encounter with God. Uh -huh. you, you need to go to God and, 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 and have God to, and, and, and pray to God. Uh -huh. Amen. Because the Bible said we all so far come, come short of the glory of God. Yeah. So we need to keep on praying. We need yeah. to keep on fasting. Yeah. We need to keep on having our encounter with God. Oh, you find that Pete Paul, he had, he had more than one encounter with God. He, yeah. you, look, you look at 2 Corinthians 12. He said, about 14 years ago, amen, he said, he was caught up into the third heaven. Amen. If he started talking, if you, if you read it, amen, at the first he started talking in third person, he was trying not to identify himself. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Because, because he, he didn't want to talk about himself. Right. So he started talking about it in third person. Yeah. But then you keep on saying, he keep on, then he kept on talking, and, and then he said, of such a one, I glory. He, 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 had, he had to let it out. Yeah. He said, he, he said, I, he's out. Yeah. I'll come in third heaven. And he, he said, he said, and, and, and he said, and he find out, amen, as he, as, as he, as he said, I glory, and I'm yet not I glory, not myself, but, in, but in, in my infirmity. But though I would desire the glory, I shall not be as a fool, for I say unto, unto thee, for the truth, for I bear record, that innocent man should think of me above, which is seen to me. And then, and then he goes, he goes, by, you know, he said, he, he go beyond, he said, he had a thought, he had a thorn in the flesh. Yeah, right. Amen. He find we find we, we don't find, you know, we all speak, all a lot of theologians they, they, they speculate thinking about what the thorn in the flesh is. Yeah. Amen. But we don't know. You know but, we, but we know he had something to bother him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We, we had, he, had, he, had, he had a physical ailment to bother him. Yeah. And you find out, but, but but you find that amen. God, God told him and he and Bible said he asked three times for, for the Lord to remove it. And, and God wouldn't do it. And, and the Bible said that God, Jesus said, my grace is sufficient. Whoa. Amen. So you find that, amen, you may have a, a physical ailment, amen, yeah. but my God's grace is sufficient. Whoa. I find that, amen, I, the Bible lets me know, amen, that, 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 that God will not put nothing on me that I can't not bear. Right. And, 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 I, and, and, I, and I believe that. Amen. I believe God give me strength, oh God, to do whatever he have me to do. Whoa. Amen. I said, you got to have your encounter with God. You got to, you got to, you got to have an a, a personal encounter with God. You, yeah. got, you got to know what God, what God want for you. Yeah. You got to know what God want to have for you. Whoa. You can't have no doubt in your mind what God has for you. Yeah. And you got to believe in the and you got to have this encounter with God. Yeah. You get the Bible, your song said, have a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. Tell him about your troubles. He'll hear your friends cry. Yeah, you answer by and by if you just have a little talk with Jesus. Uh, so we got to learn, amen, how to have an encounter with God. Uh, we got to learn how to trust God. Uh, we got to learn how to be what God wants us to be. Uh, because, because we need to have an encounter with God. Uh, we got to go to our Damascus road. We gotta have our own Damascus road. Uh. Let the light, shine, the light shine upon us, uh. and then have a Lord with what you want me to do. Uh. We gotta do that, Amen. Because we gotta, we gotta because if we gotta be about our Father business. Uh. We got to, Amen. We gotta be about kingdom business. Uh. We got, we gotta do what God wants us to do. Because, Amen. It's no, no time to waste. Uh. Amen. Corona's out there, amen. It's not fooling. Amen. It's no joke, amen. And, 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 and we got we got to tell people yeah. how to be saved. Amen. Yeah. And, 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 if, and if you heard the word, word of baptism, huh? if you heard about the baptism of Jesus, then you know the Holy Ghost. Huh? And you don't have it, you need to get right. Yeah. You need to get right because you don't know what death is. We don't know what death is. Huh? Yeah. Amen. We don't know what happened. Huh? Yeah. But truly God is because you don't know what's gonna happen. 
So you got to get right with God. That song said, get right with God and do it now. Because if, you, if, you, if you're not saved, and you know you're saved, you know, you know you got the Holy Ghost or not. You know you've been baptized in Jesus' name or not. You need to be, you need to be saved. Because there's only Bible says there's one way. And there's one law, one faith, one baptism. And, he, and, his, and his name is Jesus. And you got to get baptized in Jesus' name. You need the Holy Ghost. You need to live holy. And you got to live holy. Without holy, no one should see the Lord. You need to be holy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, he said, uh, he said that he, one thing he besought the Lord thrice, uh, that it might depart from him. Uh, amen. I know we, we all have, amen, problems. Uh, we know have, we all have, amen, have, have illness. Uh, if you don't have no illness, keep on living. Keep living. Keep amen. Living. You don't have illness, keep on living. Uh, uh -huh. Amen. They coming. Amen. But, 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 you, but you got to, amen. He, 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 he said, he said, I'm sorry three times, amen. But, but Jesus, God, you said, my grace is sufficient for thee. Yeah. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it then said, most gladly, therefore, I rather glory in my infirmity that in the power of Christ may rest upon me. Yeah. We find that, amen, it, because, it, because I have, amen, the power of God. Mm -hmm. I got the Holy Ghost, amen. When I'm weak, he gives me strength. Amen. I, and and I, I personally, amen, have noticed that when, when I get strength, when I get weak, he'll give me strength. Yeah. Amen. Because, because, because that's the kind of God I serve. Yeah. Because yeah. God, God is wonderful. And I want you to understand, Amen. It means we need to have our personal encounter with God. Yes. No matter what happened, you know, no matter where you are in Christ, you still can have a personal encounter with God. No yes. matter what's going on in your life, you need to have a personal encounter with God. No matter what's, what's going on in the world, you need to have a personal encounter with God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah.